Hey, what up you guys? This is Danny B. You're watching the Trash Dash. And um, it's pretty late at night, so I'm going to be kind of quiet in this video. But uh, I'm finally getting around to doing my top 10 Mickey Rourke films. And uh, I'm just going to do it behind the camera and do it kind of fast to kind of get it out of the way. Because it's been kind of daunting me for months. And uh, I've been wanting to get around to it, and I just never did. So <laughs> finally I'm getting around to it, and here we go. Um, i got to get kind of back into it the swing of making videos too so give me you know bear with me here but all right coming up at number 10 it's going to be one called thicker than blood which is a made for tv movie for uh tnt actually mickey work plays a priest in this he's actually really good in it but unfortunately he is the best part of this movie the rest of it is not that great but mickey Rourke kills the role so if you're a fan definitely check this one out i liked it but it wasn't the best movie i've ever seen but still worth checking out if you can find it. Yeah, Thicker Than Blood at number 10. Uh, number 9 is going to be one that I don't own a copy of, so I'll just put a picture here. And it's going to be Johnny Handsome, which is an okay movie. It's directed by uh, Walter Hill, who did, you know, like Hard Times and The Warriors. And it's not his best work that I've seen, but Mickey Rourke's pretty good in it. And it was an okay movie. Pretty fun movie. And um, Morgan Freeman's in it. And uh, I think Daryl Hannah's in it, if I remember. Oh, no, she's in this next one. Uh, number eight is going to be The Pope of Greenwich Village. This is my dad's favorite movie. And um, I watched it a bunch growing up. And rewatching it these days, I still like it, but I don't like it as much as I did when I was a kid. Um, and you know what's funny is it took me a long time to realize the movie Friday ripped this movie off. Like, the plot is almost exactly the same as, uh, Friday. Like, like, Eric Roberts is basically Smokey. He's basically Ice Cube. You know, they get fired from the job right away and then they don't know what to do and they get in trouble with the mobster who's basically kind of like a mix between Debo and Big Worm. And, <laughs> yeah, so if you're a fan of Friday, definitely check out the Pogo Greenwich Village this one's more heavy on the drama than the comedy, but yeah, it's a great movie. Pope of Greenwich Village, number eight. Number seven is going to be Barfly. Um, pretty good movie. Great performance. This is a canon movie, so it's got like a little bit of canon-esque stuff going on in it. But yeah, based on the life of, I think his name is Charles Bus Bukinski. He was a writer who I actually have never read any of his stuff or anything. Or I guess he was a poet writer. I don't know. But this movie's pretty good. He's basically kind of like a bum who has the potential to be famous, but he doesn't want to be famous. <laughs> yeah, Barfly, good movie. Uh, number seven. All right, coming up at number six is going to be Spun. And uh, this is a crazy movie about tweakers. And if you're easily, um, like, uh, sickened by shaky camera stuff or, like, you know, fast-cutting imagery, then don't watch this. But... Yeah, this is a good one, and um, Mickey Rourke is absolutely the best part of this movie, in my opinion. Uh, you know, other good actors, too, like John Leguizamo, and um, what's this guy's name again from all the Wes Anderson movies? Uh, Mina Savari is really good in this. Yeah, it's it's not real heavy on the plot. Oh, Brittany Murphy, yeah, I, for, I almost forgot about her. Yeah, she was great in this. Yeah, this is a trippy movie, but yeah, I do like it. That's uh, number six. All right, coming up at number five is going to be Year of the Dragon. This is an awesome movie. This is like, this. I don't know how I missed out on this growing up, but yeah, this is an awesome one. Um, about a g gang war in Chinatown, and he's this Polish cop. I think it's almost based on a true story. This is a guy from uh, Michael's, Michael Cimino, Cimino, who directed um, The Deer Hunter. It was a really underrated movie. Pretty hardcore movie, too. All right, coming up at number four. Number four. I don't know where the case for this is, but The Wrestler. And a lot of people say this is his best movie. It's good, but I wouldn't say it's his best. Probably his last best movie. Like, I don't think he's done anything better since he's done this. But, yeah. The Wrestler, awesome performance, and it's almost kind of, it reminds me a lot of like Rocky, but it doesn't have the happy ending that Rocky has. Marissa Talme is great in this, too. Yeah, I really like this movie, The Wrestler. Um, yeah, number three is gonna be nine and a half weeks, and I had the wrong idea about this movie 
from ever since I heard about it. I thought it was going to be like a cheesy romance movie, but it's it's really dark actually. It's like about like this guy who's kind of like a narcissist and he's mind controlling um uh, uh Kim Basinger's character. Yeah. Um yeah, great movie. This is like uh, 50 shades of gray before that was everything. I didn't have weeks. And, uh, coming up at number 2 is going to be Bullet. And this was my favorite one for a long time, but it recently just got switched to the number two spot by the one I'm about to say. But yeah, this he absolutely kills this role, and a lot of people watch this for Tupac, and they're Tupac fans. Tupac's good in it, but Mickey Rourke absolutely steals the show in this. And um, also, uh, what's his name? Ted Levine is in this. He's really crazy in it. Uh, yeah, this is a great movie. This is very underrated. Well, kind of like a... Um, like a hood movie type thing um i don't even know if i should call it a hood movie it's about a guy that's like he gets out of prison and he's kind of like he doesn't know what to do with his life so he just goes right back to this old beef he had with this guy from back in the day and yeah it's a very kind of tragic movie family drama movie kind of thing yeah good movie bullet number two and coming up at number one is going to be angel heart and um, this movie really grew on me the more and more I watched it. Um, when I first saw it, I thought it was okay, but re-watching it and just like his character in this and Robert De Niro's character, and I don't know, I just liked it more and more the more I watched it. And it's kind of like an old like Humphrey Bogart style movie, like a noir movie, but with the devil in it. And um, yeah, it's really trippy. Lots of crazy stuff uh, directed by... Um, I forget the guy's name that directed this, but he directed the Pink Floyd Wall movie. Um, yeah, great one. Angel Heart, uh, the unrated version. And, oh, and um, Lisa Bonet is pretty hot in this, too. And I got to get a DVD at least of this, or probably even a Blu-ray, but yeah. All right, so let's recap. Number one, Angel Heart. Number two, Bullet. Number three, Nine and a Half Weeks, the unrated version. Number four, The Wrestler. Number five, You're the Dragon. Number six, Spun. Number seven, Barfly. Number eight, The Pope of Greenwich Village. Number nine, Johnny Hanson, which I don't have a copy of. And number ten, Thicker Than Blood. All right, guys, this is Danny B. You're watching The Trash Dash. That was my top ten Mickey Rourke movies after months and months of saying I was going to do this. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your favorite Mickey Rourke movie, and uh, let me know which one of these is your favorite, and uh, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.